Okay, so the goal for this final video in our topographic map series is to help you to be able to draw a profile view of a path using a topographic map. So let's dive right in. Uh, and the first thing I want to do is answer what exactly a profile is. So um, in the context of topographic mapping, a profile is a side view or a cross-section view of a landform. Um, so, you know, much of what we've been looking at with topographic maps are these bird's eye views. So looking down on a region from above. Um, and in many cases, it can be valuable to be able to get a side view to understand what a landscape really looks like. Uh, and that's what a profile drawing allows us to do. So as always, let's begin by looking at a map. Uh, here I have a map of the shoreline of Lake Ontario, or at least a portion of it. I see my um, map scale and my compass rows. Uh, looking at the map itself, I see I have Lake Ontario shown in white. Uh, I have these chimney bluffs, which appear to be a very steep sloped hill on the coastline. Um, I know it's steep, just to reiterate, because the contour lines are very tightly packed together. Um, what I'm going to do here is construct a profile along line CD. So in essence, I'm, I'm going to imagine I'm slicing this hill in half along that line so that I get, can get a peek at it from the side. And when you do this, um, you will typically, you're, you're essentially creating a line graph. And so you can do it on graph paper. Uh, oftentimes, you're provided with an axis that you can use like this one. Um, again, it's very similar to a line graph. On the bottom, it has horizontal distances, so my locations from C to D. And then on the vertical axis, I have elevations here shown from 310 to 390. And this is where we're going to construct our profile view. Uh, there's one thing I want to point out. This is going to become kind of important, um, and that is the contour interval. Fortunately for us here, it's given to us. The interval is 10 feet, and just as a reminder, that means that as you go from one contour line to the next, the elevation changes by 10 feet. So just keep that in mind. So let's begin constructing our profile, and the best way to do this is with a piece of scrap paper, which you should line up along the line that you're profiling, in this case CD. And the first thing I'm going to do is transfer some marks to my scrap paper where C is and where D is. And once I've done that, I want to also add the elevations of point C and point D. Now, this is pretty easy because they're both actually on contour lines. And just by looking at the lines, I can see that C um, being one line uphill from the 300 line would have an elevation of 310, keeping in mind my contour interval is 10 feet. Um, for D, I can see that I'm one line outside of the 400 contour line, which means I'm 10 feet lower than 400 or 390 feet. Now, keeping my scrap paper perfectly in place, I'm going to transfer marks for each of the contour lines that cross my scrap paper. And I'm going to be sure to include the elevation of each of those lines. Uh, so for example, I see a contour line crossing here, and that would be an elevation of 320. Here's 330, 340, 350, 360, 370, and 380. And then, of course, the next line is 390. Uh, and so once I've got these marked down, and again, the more accurate you are, the better. So take your time with this. Um, I'm going to use that scrap paper with my axis to draw my profile. So I'm going to line them up with each other, and they should line up perfectly. And now I just need to transfer these, these points onto my axis here. So it's just like creating a line graph. So for example, directly above C, I have an elevation of 310. So I'm going to go ahead and make a dot at 310. Above my next contour line, I'm up at 320, 330, 340, 350, 360. Notice I'm going directly above where my markings are, 370, 380, and then finally D was 390. So now what I need to do is connect these points with a nice smooth curving line to show the profile of the landscape. And I'm going to do that just like this. And I have created my profile. So what we're looking at here is a side view of what line CD would look like. Um, and so this is how we create a topographic profile. Um, it's fairly straightforward, but you got to take your time and be as precise and accurate as you can. And so with that, our topographic map series has come to an end. Feel free to go back and check out any of the other videos if you have any questions or problems. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like on YouTube. Thanks very much for watching.